John Fullsauce pulled through with that. With, like, no prep time whatsoever. So, very nice work. Okay. So, this is a collection from... Wait, who made this collection? I'll have that information for you. Uh, who, who made this pack? Well, regardless, it's just a bunch of bad PS1 games. Um, Jackal vetted it. Thank you. And uh, we'll find out it was Mr. Flipnote, in fact, that made this collection. So thank you, Mr. Flipnote. Thank you, everybody that makes Sunday Stream content. You keep Sunday Stream alive, and you know you, you get me seeing games that I, I kind of really don't need to be ever seeing in my life, but this is what I, I have to do now. So here it is. Animorphs Shattered, Shattered Reality, which is... That's just Sunday Stream in a nutshell. This is a game about... Uh, Animorphs. If you've never seen Animorphs or read the books, it was a book series about uh, kids that turned into animals, and that ended up coming true about 20 years later. And uh, it was popular. It was a popular series of books, and they made a game. I remember when I was in grade school, Animorph books were, like, just released and they had these, like, covers where it was, like, the, the morph itself, and... I never read a single Animorph book. I had one. I probably had two, in fact, but I read other books that were like it. But I didn't read... I read the knockoffs. So... I think it was a TV show, too. Um, okay, so I'm trying to skip through this. All right. Let's see how long it takes to get into gameplay. Okay, so unskippable menus. It's the PS1, so I wasn't expecting too much, but unskippable menus, loading bar. I am an Elemist. Since the dawn of time, I have observed every detail of the universe. My interests have taken me far and wide, studying beings on worlds throughout the cosmos. Recently, my attention has been drawn to a conflict on a small, blue world known as... Earth. Earth. Oh. Ruthless aliens called the Yurk have begun an invisible invasion. What a bunch of yurks. control of human minds. Oh, nice, the Star Trek slug. Slaves. But now, everything has changed. The Yurk leader, Vizzer III, gained control of a weapon powered by a continuum crystal. Is that like a... a the weapon was... Oh, okay, don't do that. Don't do that! The crystal exploded. <laughs> Their yurks, all right. Only one thing stands between the yurk and ultimate victory. Eagles. <laughs> I guess eagles. <laughs> I want some of the in-between frames so I can analyze the footage. It looked so goofy. They smartly didn't show the entire morph. A group of young heroes called the Animorphs. Oh god, this is it's already cursed when you have like PS1 crust scenes mixed with the concept of an Animorph. Start from the beginning. Good face. Good face. Good face. These faces are so featureless. Like, they're just like smudged, airbrushed, like human face. I guess Jake is the hero of the Animorph series, I don't know. We'll- we'll choose Jake. 
So again, none of these games are particularly good from my understanding. Um, they're all pretty low rated games, so don't expect too much. Um, that walk animation's already pretty crusty. What is, what is this? Oh boy. Oh boy, that combat. Did I have no choice in the matter? For the Animorph? Because I didn't press any specific buttons to become... Animorph. Vinny, I swear you've played this game before. I, I don't believe I have, but every game on Sunday is just blurring into every other game on Sunday, so maybe. Okay, hello, welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Today we try Human. That's the final frontier of the, like, Hydraulic Press Channels, and when, like you know, underground tube becomes popular in post-apocalyptic year 2021. The hydraulic press channel is just gonna be like Mad Max. They're gonna have eye patches and wear like spatulas and um, what's that thing that you colanders on their heads? And they're just gonna do, hello, today we crush human. Okay, this time we crush the kidney. <laughs> In this year, the entertainment is considered sport. It is the running man. Well, this game is, is certain. Okay. It's certainly a video game. Guess I just didn't expect an Animorphs game to be like a side-scroller. You know, like, you, you can't even control when you become the animal. Fucking animals. It's not terrible, it's just bland. The combat was terrible. Oh, here we go, here we go. Designated combat zone, I see. Yeah, this doesn't work very well. This is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not supposed to swim. Oh! oh gotta be careful. Just gonna fast forward through the loading time, which is, yes, something that you can do. Isn't technology amazing? Well, as a side-scroller, it's... fine. Um, this is herky-jerky, and... I don't particularly enjoy controlling this character in a 3D environment. But, like, they're going for the 2.5D thing. Oh, great, more platforms. Wow, well, just like they had to do in Animorphs, I'm assuming. Again, I, I have, don't remember reading the books. If I ever did, I might have read a couple pages, a paragraph, maybe two paragraphs, maybe even a couple chapters, if I had them. But I don't... You know, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast, so who knows? Maybe there is platforming and dodging electricity. I just don't know. I mentioned on stream that one of the books that I read was this weird, like, dinosaur planet. No, not Star Fox. But... It was fine. It was like Animorphs, but there were there was no Animorph. It was just dinosaurs. Whatever that was. Dinotopia, thank you, yes. That's correct. That's the one I read. Um, for whoever made the Crash Bandicoot comparison... It's close. Let's just say, if I got this for Christmas... And... I had no indication of what the fuck an Animorph was. I wouldn't be the most disappointed boy on the block. It, it's... You know, I've played worse. But this is just... You know... Just generic bland jumping from gear to gear. Have fun. 
Well, way to way to utilize the IP. All right, one more battle section, and then next game. So I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, I have one attack button. One attack button. That's it. Swipe. And then you immediately become a human again. Philip J. Fry. Well. Alright. Um, our Marines Project Swarm. I already know what this game is. Oh, shit. Crash. Okay. Uh huh? The file might be... what? This is a PlayStation game. Okay. Let's see if it even loads. So this is a game made by Acclaim. If it even works. Um, this was the people that made Torok. Or I think it, it might have been. I'm not sure if it was the same team. I think it was just Acclaim. But um, I heard the PlayStation version was not good. Vinny, are you loading the Q files? Yeah. Let me let me just restart this. Let me quit out of that. Try again. I've had enough of your games, Q! It says, uh, couldn't resolve referenced Q file. You can commonly repair the Q file yourself. You might be missing... Error! Track command encountered with no active file. I don't know what that means. Something Boolean? Oh. Alright, well, we don't play this. Let's do Barbie Explorer instead. Yeah, if there's a- whoa. A voice crack in there for you. If there's a way to get a replacement... Um, Q file and play our Marines, then I will. Nice Indiana Jones font. Is Vinny your real name or is it a bit, says a chat member. Sunday brings out some fun questions and chat messages. Uh, it, it's a bit. It's... Uh, my name is... Steve. Boat. House. I like that this has a better, um, intro cutscene than Animorphs. <laughs> I guess the Barbie budget was really, really high. Then what happened, Professor? You know what this is? This is just Tomb Raider at this point. Unfortunately, I was only able to find one piece of the Mystic Mirror. The other pieces have yet to be found. Look, it's it's the mansion. This will make an incredible story for the paper. Here's the real story. Behind the mirror, I discovered an ancient treasure map to the secret locations of the missing pieces. I've been awaiting and exploring. Thirty-five-year-old man playing Barbie challenge. games. Here we go. For legend says that if all five pieces are returned to the places around the mirror. They will unlock its mysterious powers. Why, this could be the greatest treasure of the modern world. You can count on me, Professor. As of today, I'm reporting as Barbie, world-class explorer. <sighs> better voice acting than Trials of Mana? Well, it's better voice mixing. What? Enter your name by highlighting the letters or symbols. Press the press the X press the X button now. Pre <laughs> okay, medium. Use the left to bed. Off of Egypt. I, I mean, there's so many options. Let's we can go, go to Africa. one of three places. Let's go. We're heading out into Central Africa. Cover a sapphire shield. We're 
Okay, that's fine. Let's just let's okay. just get there. <laughs> let's just After get there. Okay, Crash Bandicoot. A and we thought the previous game was Crash Bandicoot. Wow, this is a really interesting game. All you have to do is hold forward. Oh wait, no, no, I actually have to do some platforming. Oh shit. I failed the first jump in Barbie video game. Gamer card revoked. So, so Barbie pretty much just turns the corners. You don't really have to do much. That camera is really zoomed in, too. Hey, there goes an elephant. <laughs> and, and thus the illusion of nature was shattered for Barbie. Is she bleeding? Did you see that? Barbie was, like, bleeding. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Let's see. Try again. I- uh, listen, I thought her leg was bloody. I think it was just graphic crust. Is this the game Temple Run was based off of? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Little monkey fella. Uh, so there's- there seems to be two buttons. Jump and roll. And that's it. Vinny, what's the meaning of life? We'll find out during AI Dungeon. We're just gonna try, try to get- oh, there we go, we got it. This game... This game actually is better than Crash Bandicoot, because I'm not dying because I couldn't jump on a turtle's tiny hitbox. Oh wait, no, hang on a minute, there's a... No, there's, um, a tiny platform instead. No, I take that back. Did it just, like... Like, Babby mowed me pa Oh no, it put me back! Oh no. Good fucking controls. Good depth perception. Game over. Try walking onto it? Well, it's too late now. VR training. Colonel, I've entered the Barbie VR missions by accident. Well, Snake, you can't leave until you beat them. Welcome to the virtual reality training. To walk, press and hold down the R1 button, and then use the directional buttons. Walk. I got this. To get past this object, you need to die. <laughs> Why is she so tall? I feel like, like, I died and then she got taller. Maybe I was just... No, nah, maybe she didn't get taller. I thought she got taller. Do you remember, like, that big controversy about Barbie's unrealistic proportions? An object is blocking the... Is that still a thing? I'm just wondering. The aspect ratio is squished. Or, or she's just, like, very tall and thin because the toys are, like, very tall and thin. The, the, okay, so there's a Barbie of every body type now. So, that way, if you want to buy the Slender Man version of Barbie, you can. That's up to you. It's just now it's just a choice. 
Oh my god, look at this. Just taking... Take your time, Barbie. It's, it's all good. Just take your time. Okay, let's check out one more level. Okay, maybe our Marines will work. I think Jackal's testing it out, but if it doesn't work, we, there's so many games in this pack. This is going to be a two-parter, maybe even a three-parter, depending on how fast I go through this stuff. The Egypt is so cool. Let's double check our the de the de Again, Barbie seems like a giant right now. I think it's the camera angle plus tall. Or maybe, like, the objects are just small. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem right. Something, like, just seems weird about this. Um... Oh, God. I, what is this perspective? Chat, I swear to God... What is... What is this? There's a lot of sand dunes here. That was enough? Hang on a minute. We just... Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. No, that, that doesn't work like that. That's just a little patch of mud. Sand dunes? Barbie. I got stuck on the wall. Oh, this is a torturous experience. But not for the reasons you'd expect. Nice camel. Trampled. Okay, what now? Pressing buttons. I'm stuck. Vinny, you missed the key. You know what? It's for the best. Next up is Batman and Robin. Oh no, Batman and Robin. Well, this is timed very nicely. Uh, the Batman trailer dropped, and it looked... I, I was actually kind of surprised that it looked decent, but it looks like... You know when Spider-Man 3 went emo? It reminded me of that. But it looked good otherwise, and I was really surprised that Pattinson uh, looked like the Batman with the cowl on. Otherwise, he he just looked like emo Peter Parker. But it, the trailer was good. The the you know the whole thing. I was like, okay, maybe I'll watch this. Hopefully, you know, it's it's like it's a darker story than we've ever had. Like, hopefully they they lighten it up a little bit. Reminded me of the crow, if you've ever seen that. <laughs> what did I think of the song choice? I, it's weird to hear one of the most like vulnerable Nirvana I really songs. To die for. Really, Uma Thurman, fake Uma Thurman, I'd assume. Um, it's weird hearing the most vulnerable of Nirvana songs in a trailer for a big movie, but it kind of worked. I was resistant and made like the, the disgusted face that you guys post in chat. And then I was like, okay. Una, Uma Thurmont. But let's talk about Batman and Robin. One of my favorite bad movies of all time. I love hate it. There's a bat credit card. There's terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger puns. There's a paycheck that Uma Thurman collected. There's like big green bane. 
Bat nipples? We don't talk about the bat nipples. Just puns. That sounds like a fake Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Ice to see you. Cool it down and back to bed. Got them will freeze. There are clues in the back computer. Okay, visually, this is decent looking so far in a still frame. But of course, it controls like ass. No, it looks decent if you just stay still. And then it's like, oh, okay. Run up to your vehicle. Okay. It's muddy. It's very muddy. Okay. Well, mission accomplished, I guess. Cool down, bat and bird. Oof. Okay, this is like Turok level fog. Okay, well... Crime stopped. Both people dead. No more crime. This dude's name is Gollum? <laughs> they just shatter? You just attack a civilian, feel their pain. Oh, I do! Playing this game is the same feeling. I don't quite know where I'm supposed to go. It, this is darker than the movie, than the Joel Schumacher movie. Like, it's. This feels much more like Dark Batman, and the movie just feels like a clown fest. Um, I just, when I say darker, I mean it just, it's, I can't see. Oh god, what is happening? I think it's kind of GTA-ish. Which is fairly impressive for its time. Again, just the, the textures in the model on Batman, it's surprisingly good for PS1. Um, maybe they focused too much on the Batman model and not enough on the gameplay. Just blew up my own car. Great. Oh, it's just piss. Oh, these controls are shit. And I'm just flying. I'm- well, I mean, I'm hovering. I, I'm like Yoshi gliding. Okay, so that's the voice of non Clooney. A little George Clooney. Nope, try again. Are you Marco Kilton? Nope. I love the cartoon, Batman! Don't even know what that means. It's Val Kilmer. You don't know Val Kilmer? Ah, I love an actor. 
Vinny going around in circles. I like going in circles. It's fun. I thought this was the whole game. Well, if I'm supposed to go here, there's a gate. Oh, wait, maybe that's not where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a street here. Okay, I was confused. I... Okay. Straight on to the museum, right? So, this is the museum? Is this just me, or are there only, like, criminals on the road? Like, every vehicle so far has been some kind of, like, enemy clown car. Oof, oh, this game... This game is some hot garbage. Hey, wait, this is the Batcave? I don't think I went to a museum, chat. I don't think there's a museum in a waterfall. My job is done. Hey, Batman, what'd you do today? I killed a bunch of civilians and a bunch of cars. It's time for dinner. <laughs> Press do to start the bat computer. Well, what's... What makes you so different than me, Batman? I thought we were lucky pants. Oh, it's an attempt at, like, being a detective. Like a... like an actual Batman. I kind of want to play this for another minute. Or so, or maybe three. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to get into a fist fight with the civilian, and then I can stop. The game over screen is good? Okay. I'll try my damnedest to have Batman perish. Oh, these controls are fucking awful! Broken mailboxes. Ice cream truck? That's a Mr. Freeze henchman ice cream truck. I've seen the movie. I know what happens. I just... <laughs> Batman is the agent of chaos. This is the version of Batman where Batman becomes the Joker. called Batman Who Laughs? Is that a real thing? <laughs> Talk to the hand. Just trying to understand what I can do as Batman, and it's not much. Don't even really bother to have a... To have a, um... A jump animation. Batman just kinda... Wills himself into the air. <laughs> this is 
the Batman way. Oh, I ran out of ammo. That's poor shit. You know Batman has more ammo than that. <laughs> Vinny, go to the museum, please. I would like to, but I just don't know how to. Hang on, this is good. I can get a game over screen. Vinny, you passed it? It's okay. It's alright, this is what Batman would have wanted. Heavy compression. How embarrassing. Prepare for a bit of harvest. <laughs> has come at last. Okay, that actually sounded like Arnold. I think they took that from the movie. If you want to see a video showing the rest of this game... Batman and Robin is an action-adventure... Oh, Rerez did this video. Rerez does good video. So yeah, there's a video about this. It looks pretty bad. I'm sure Shane wouldn't mind me showing. Uh, what's- what is this? Did I not see this last time? Two chat members side by side. re -res is great, re -res sucks. Such is life. Vinny, I- I didn't even remember showing that chat. That's how- Either I'm- in need of help? Or that's how generic these cutscenes are. But yeah, here's just a little bit more gameplay. And graphics and... You know. That sums it up. Okay, we can move on to Chaos Break. Oh, you know what? Let's do The Crow next. Since I was just talking about The Crow. Okay, so the movie The Crow... ...is a really good movie. There is some tragedy. Uh, unfortunately, the, you know... I remember this game being notorious for being shit, but the movie was pretty good. Um, and I did mention that the new Batman trailer reminded me of The Crow a little bit. It's like a cult classic movie. It had uh, some Nine Inch Nails in the soundtrack. Really good soundtrack, actually, but uh, poor Brandon Lee, who was Bruce Lee's son, who was just getting started with his career. <sighs> you know, um, he... There was a, a, a gun problem. And I don't think they checked the gun properly to fire the blanks, and there was still something in the gun. I don't remember the whole story, but there's plenty of videos on YouTube to cover it. And sadly, Brandon Lee was was killed, and it fucking sucked. And it was a big deal. It was a big story, and they had to finish the movie with like uh, a double and some like CG, some early CG. But it still was a really good movie, and he did a good performance. But then, sadly, this game besmirched its legacy. <laughs> okay.
Well, yeah, that's a, the New Vegas thing. That that whole thing kind of happened in the Crow movie. Someone in chat said, imagine being the guy that shot him. That actor apparently had some, like... I'm sorry to turn fun Sunday stream into something real and depressing, but yeah, that actor was fucked up for years over that. He took a year off acting, and he still dreams about it. And it's not even his fault. It just... the, the gun guy that they had, um... Something went wrong when checking the gun and its blanks. And it was a blank that got him. But... Yeah, it's it's just a fucked up story. It's an urban legend story too. It was a pretty big um big deal when it happened. But I do again, I remember hearing about this game being a fucking piece of garbage. Uh so we're going to find out. Never in my life did I think I would play a lot of the games I heard were terrible when I was a kid. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. And now I'm stuck on this part of the screen. Um. So, it's, it's pre-rendered backgrounds. It's, it's really bad. Daddy, bad. Oh no, I can tell in the first minute that this is going to be an exercise in, in torture. Yeah, it's tank controls. I think I saw him punch a guy. That's my best guess. Hustle. This game is based on Crow 2, not the original. Hey, clown feet. Crow 2. Crow harder. I used to think my life was a tragedy. Now. <laughs> the music is just MIDI and gunshots. <laughs> hey, clown face. Well, it's nice that one button seems to do so much. With one button, I was able to headbutt and kick. His twin brother decided to join the fray. I've- I've scared them off, chat. It's okay. They can't even approach. They're too scared. Like- Like, it, it, am I hitting them? Man, if his head was tilted down just a little bit, it would be even funnier. Like, it's just, you know, socially awkward crow makes no eye contact with anyone. That walk animation is just, it strikes me. And I don't know, I just, I feel bad for this crow. I think this crow could use better posture. Um, <laughs> I 
I, I like when the music goes boom, boom, boom. Uh, I feel like this crow might be a little constipated. Not really sure where to go. Um, the the pre-rendered backgrounds don't make a whole lot of sense, like spatially. I'm really struggling to figure out what... Like, now we have invisible walls, too. Oh, no, this is really bad hit detection. Or like, um, hey, what would you even call that? Like what they did in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, boundaries, I guess. We need some boundary break. Yeah, collision mapping. Collision mapping, thank you. That, that works. Worst game of the night. This- even Batman was better than this. <laughs> the nice shuffle. <laughs> Can I use my crow powers? <laughs> the English language is very versatile. You can go, huh, and hey, clown face. Bruh. You also get bruh. I don't know, it's kind of discriminatory against clowns, and this dude's not even a proper clown. And now we- now we know why clowns are so sad. No one respects them. Everyone just laughs at them. Or, the ultimate disrespect, not laughing at them. Look at that. He did that on his own. Chat, I pressed one button, and now he's walking on his own. I don't know what's happening. What? Chat, I pressed the button over there by that knife, and he walked all the way over there, all the way over there, and there to grab that knife. Is there a way to... I want to toss the knife and try that again. This game is astoundingly terrible. I love it. Vinny, have you seen the movie Clown? Yes, unfortunately, where the dude... Like, the clown outfit becomes a part of his body, and he can't rip it off, and then he just becomes a clown. Okay, alright, here we go. So, what are you doing? I'm gonna press the button over here again and see what happens. Okay. I press the button. Okay, he's walking. My hand is no longer on the controller. We got some pathfinding. No, we don't. Nope. Too stupid. Okay, we're gonna press it again. Press it again. <laughs> I'm not- Again, chat, I'm not pressing a single button. <laughs> He's trying so hard to get the knife. Okay, now I'm stuck and it's not pressing any button. It, the button doesn't doesn't work to grab the knife. It's not happening. Okay, here. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Twitch plays the crow. Yeah, pretty much. I'm barely playing it. Even when I am playing it, it doesn't feel like I'm playing it. Okay, well that worked. And, and true- okay, chat. I'm not pressing any buttons any- anymore. I'm still not pressing a button. That, that music. If you could call this music. How do I leave this place? This is astounding. Like, I feel like I'm in an MC Escher painting. I can't leave. I don't know where things are, or where I am. I have no sense of space and time. This is like a dream. Oh wait, no, I think I did it. I found a place. Good aim. 
I'm not winning anybody over to the fact that The Crow is a good movie by playing this. Man, the N64 had some turds. And you know, I've played plenty of those, and I have another awful N64 game pack. But, boy, the PlayStation had some real fucking winners, too. Let's see if I can press the button from here and pick up a thing. Okay. Nope. Yep. Press the button once. And now Crow is walking on his own again. And just got punched. Good view of the combat. Okay, this is me having pressed the button, and now he's going to stank his way over to the knife. I assume it's going to be the knife. So he can pick the knife up. Nice work. How hard would it have been to just like program a, like one line of code so that NPCs that look exactly the same aren't in the same room at the same time. Probably too hard, right? And yet they have this like sentient AI that can go and pick up objects from across the room. Amazing. Still not pressing anything. Yeah, this is truly one of the worst, like, uh, big publisher games I've played on Sunday stream in a long time. This is a special kind of bad. I don't know why that's happening. Why does the pro show up? Uh, I'm good. I think we've had enough on this one. Um, Now, if you give me a second, Chad, I'm going to grab the next game. Um, but first, here's a little bit of bonus footage. Oh, our Marines is actually... I got a new download for it, so I'm going to download that. While that's happening, here's uh, a thing that you can enjoy for a second. If you think about it, it gets weirder. Okay, almost ready. Uh, I have some bonus footage from the Barbie game that was um, just sent my way. Here's some bonus footage for you. <laughs> Roll! That and also Barbie is as tall as palm trees. Confirmed. All right, so maybe our Marines will work. Yeah, this Q file works. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's the MEMS folder. That's where we put our... Uh, our stanky Sunday stream stuff. You'll see some AI generated memes later, but well, we'll get there. Okay, so Acclaim Studios made Armorines. This is a game, I believe, 
where you kill bugs. It's it's Starship Troopers. The N64 version was apparently kind of mediocre, and I've heard this version is not very good. So... I might have even played Armorines at some point on, on stream, like a while back. Just not this version. The human race has survived the most brutal threats to its fragile existence. I'm gonna get some horchata. I'll be right back. Fire, you enjoy this. I'll just pretend I watched it. have ravaged and scarred our planet, but the human race has always prevailed. Humankind developed the technology to combat these threats and the technology to inflict and survive the most bloody conflicts. The Armorines were the military option we hoped we'd never have to use. An advanced, virtually indestructible fighting force created to withstand even the devastation of a nuclear attack. Their intensive Never training, mind, it's frozen. technological I that I put it in the and supreme strength made them the army every nation wanted. Is this Sigma the from Mega Man X? They couldn't be defeated. No one imagined there could be anything more threatening to our planet than a nuclear conflict. They were wrong. The gravest threat to the human race was about to unleash its brutal menace on our world. Okay. The Armorines were the only hope. You got it. We've received some distressing data, Armorine. Our last SAT transmission with the Siberian base displayed a collection of objects not of this world. Whatever, man. Just let me shoot. This presentation just feels so lackluster. This frame rate just feels so lackluster. Why are they so fast? Oh boy. How do I move forward? Oh god. Oh god, how do I move forward? With the R button. Okay, chat, get this. Okay, <laughs> R1 is forward, R2 is back. D-pad is look around. Find Dr. Delaney. He'll unlock the blast doors. It's like the Turok controls, but worse. I get that they had, like, limited buttons to work with, um, and they wanted it to be more precise aiming, but this is... This is cool, actually. That was... Maybe this game could have stayed on the N64, or even better, on the cutting room floor. These controls are not good. How do I strafe? Is there a strafe? <clears throat> Circle and square are strafe. I don't... I don't really want to continue playing this. I, I know I don't have to. I can just... I can stop any time, really. But we've come this far, and, and I want to see if it gets worse. For people saying this was like Metroid Prime, I, as a Metroid Prime fan, you, I take that as an insult. How, how dare you? I will mod each and every person that says that this is like Metroid Prime. Please, please just 
move like a human. Oh, well, it's a robot. I guess it's a robot, dude. No, no iframes for a sec. <laughs> no. We'll just take a bunch of hits. Some nice cheap bullshit hits. That's cool. In a game where movement is tough, doorways the same size as the player is the enemy. The GBC version of this game is the best. Usually the Game Boy versions... Okay, I guess that's how we climb. We wiggle like a snake up the ladder. Usually the Game Boy versions are not good. But you saying that the Game Boy version is good for this? I believe it. I mean, hell, the Torok Game Boy versions weren't too bad. And I'm already, like, lost. That's what you want. You want the player to feel lost early on. You want them to overcome adversity. You know what I mean? Like, you, you want them to feel hopeless, lost, confused, um, frustrated, angry, in the first three minutes. And that way, they struggle and strive to achieve more in your piece of shit game. Why does this building have a nipple? Like, there's no detail anywhere. It's just a fucking barren wasteland, and then... Alright, chat. Well, I'm good. I could probably spend some time figuring out how to make the rest of this work, but... Even I have my limits for dirty... Dirty games like this, where they show buildings with... Disgusting... Disgusting objects of Satan. Doors, correct. Yes, doors. Chaos break. So, of course, you know, we get the cutscene. Gotta show off that technology, because you could do FMV, because this, the CDs could hold lots of... of data. So this was a thing. Looks decent. It, it, it looks like it's like a bootleg Resident Evil, and that's a compliment in some ways. And it's a 1999 game, so this is four years into the lifespan of the PS1. Chaos. Break. Uh. Well, holy shit. Uh. Guess we both said it at the same time. Okay, definitely not Jill. Definitely not Chris. Uh, let's see. I mean, even the beret. Even the beret. I'll go over the parameters of the operation. Starts in a helicopter. Is it over over a forest? Biomaterial Industries Research Laboratory Number Seven. 
It's a civilian research facility. We suspect that research taking place Shitty voice acting. related to parasitic tissue, which was smuggled out of the National Health Research Laboratory. Infrared sensor data from surveillance... What am I looking at? What am I looking at? It's a high probability that the facility has been contaminated by the parasitic tissue. Your mission will be to determine the condition of the research facility and retrieve the research data stored there. If a contamination accident has occurred, eliminate the cause at once. We've lost contact with the DEF agent who infiltrated the facility two days ago. Be on your guard at all times. That is all. We will shortly be entering the air. She looks so laboratory. demure. Roger. Oh. That wasn't actually her looking sad or demure. It was more uh, that she was looking down and her beret was covering 60% of her eyes. Don't you hate when that happens? When your giant anime eyes are covered by your hat? Someone in chat said she was looking at the subtitles. <laughs> The interior of the facility is probably very well guarded indeed. Oh. How do we deactivate it? The quickest solution would be to shut down the control system. But we'll need a pass card <laughs> for that. Doesn't look like we're going to have it easy. Biggs. Witch. You like the, look at the right soldier's face. Be careful. Every now and then <laughs> look at what happens to it. Oh, 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 it's more Metal Gear Solid than Resident Evil. Like, you could have told me this was a part of the Shadow Moses facility, and I would have been like, ah, oh, maybe. So we've got Resident Evil, Metal Gear, Alien, all mashed up into one package. And big kick. That's like the time Carl Pilkington was bragging that he could kick his height and no one know what he meant. Um, no one knew what he meant, rather. And it turns out what he meant was he could kick as high as his head. I could kick me height. Yeah, I was able to kick me height. Carl, what do you mean you could kick your height, mate? It's just, uh, it's a little thing I could do. Get me foot, me foot up. <laughs> Biff. Carl, what do you mean? No, it's able to kick me out and do a bit of, bit of body popping. Good camera, no music. Fucking crazy weapons. Um, yeah, it's a lot less Resident Evil than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Yeah? 
What is it? I'm in B2 right now. Come over here for a sec. Roger. <laughs> what, is, what is that voice acting? Come over here for a sec. I don't like the way that sounded. I'm not a fan of that. Wasker. It is me, Wasker. Look at this. Did she just point up? I think, think Half-Life. First stage parasitic infestation. But was there anything like this in the life form samples from last time? No, it wasn't reported. Looks like this job. I can see through this man's ass. Like usual. What? What's this? It's an entry card to get into the control center. But he was gonna give her like guts. Looks like we can get in at least. Just the hell was that noise? Yeah, just go into the elevator, go to another floor, go into the elevator, go to another floor. Run! Nice confusing camera. Jake. Nothing we can do. One mistake and we're all dead. You're right. Still, that was something else. We hit it with all we had and it didn't even blink. Is that what those cells grow into? Yeah. But there were no reports of life forms like this in the previous operation. You mean it's something else entirely? Oh my god. It's the same know. inflection for every line it's very with this dude. Though, that biological manipulation at the molecular level was going on here. Wow! That's so weird! Popping off! I'm so sad about Jake! Don't know why I'm still playing this. It was Jake from Animorphs, correct? I'll start by contacting headquarters. I'll check around. It's not particularly fun. It's just the, the allure of the terrible voice acting is keeping me playing. Oh, we've got robots in now. We don't need a floor. Just, just, just have the floor fade away. We don't need to fix that. It's so fucking disorienting. My god. I think we've seen enough of this. That was a surprise. We, we could do a couple more. There's some surprisingly good bad games in here. <laughs> I'm gonna choose a couple 
words that interest me based on their titles. Of course, Star Wars Masters of Teres Kasai is in this pack, which I've already streamed, but I, I will stream it again with no problem, because more people need to know that game. It doesn't seem so bad in retrospect, but you didn't hear me say that. Okay, let's let's watch this game now. This is a Dragon Ball Z game, Ultimate Battle 22. I don't know where the other Ultimate Battles were. It's 21 of them that are unaccounted for. He looked like he just took a poopy. Well, I'm watching more anime, finally. How did Chrono Trigger shoot that ball from his fist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, he's got a sword! It's Chrono! Uh oh, Desert says, so, so he claims channels hard. Okay, so John, John Full Sauce, hear me, hear my call, heed my call. Uh, you might want to be extra careful with that anime intro that I just showed. So that might be. <laughs> I'm in danger! Whoa! Laudo! I don't know these characters. Like, I don't... I don't really know this game, uh, this series at all. Aside from just a couple things. I know vegetables. Uh, let's see... I'm going to... How come they all have blonde hair? Are they all Super Saiyan? Shouldn't some of them have black hair? I remember Gokan and having the black hair. Oh, I guess they're all Super Saiyan. Alright. That's fine. I'm gonna be Super Boo. Because he's, like, weird and fleshy and I don't like it. Oh, God. It didn't even say, Ready? Fight! So there's just, like, frames of animation that are just missing. It's pretty, uh, clunky and slow. If you couldn't tell by looking at it, uh, but it's not- it doesn't feel fun. Look how long it takes for the move to actually happen from Boo's head. From his weird fleshy fucking tendril thing that you have to understand- Oh god, that's weird. This is like Earthworm Jim grew up the rest of his body, like the way a lizard regenerates its tail. That animation. <laughs> I couldn't- I couldn't get out of it! No, I do not wish to continue.
Uh, it's just this now. It's just a black screen. You, like, you never get anything else. Uh, okay, a couple more games that I'd like to show you tonight, based, again, purely on my own interest in their titles. MTV Celebrity Deathmatch. Now, if you weren't born in the 80s or 90s, you're going to be maybe a little confused about A, what this even is, uh, B, who these celebrities even are, some of them, and C, what's even MTV? I thought it was all just reality shows. What do you mean it's not spring break all year round? Uh, there is an M in MTV at one point. Not like this had anything to do with music. This was still just like whatever the fuck this was. was, was it was just entertaining for a couple of years. Vinny, I was born in 2000. I know what MTV is. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. This is Celebrity Deathmatch. Next stop, bloody celebrities and their unhappy agents. Okay, so Mr. T, Cleo. Okay, now this is a weird one. Miss Cleo was a TV psychic. <laughs> She'd be like, call me now, and then she would, at, like, offer psychic inv advice, and you'd call her for $40 a minute. <laughs> That's so weird that she's in this. Tommy Lee? Okay, now, this is the drummer for Motley Crue. Better known as, um, sex tape, uh, Pamela Anderson. Big Snake. This is Frankenstein. Uh, actually, this is incorrect. This is Frankenstein's monster. Okay, so, uh, but he was a big celebrity in the 90s, along with Wolfman. I guess they couldn't get the rights to other celebrities, so they have to now pad it with fucking Universal Monsters. Carmen Electra was... What did she do? Chat, what did Carmen Electra do? I don't know. Um, Marilyn Manson... Uh... Now, I'm sure many of you know who Marilyn Manson is. If not, let this image... He's the dude from The Wonder Years, the, the friend. Okay, this is Busta Rhymes. We, we still know who that is to, the, to this day, right? Okay. And Mr. T. Okay, good. So, Marilyn Manson removed his own rib... ...to, uh, sing better. We, we don't even get any Stop. music. Bloody celebrities and their unhappy agents. That was fake. I know. I, I still like to reference it. You know what's not fake? Willem Dafoe's confusingly large hog. <laughs> You're so, gonna lose this fight, dude. so he has a farm. He raises, um... He raises hogs. He's a good dude. He, he makes the- they're like rescue hogs. And he's got one that's so big, it's confusing and has won awards. So this game is also fucking terrible. What a shock. Is that a- what's his name? That was the mountain lion. What was the mountain lion's name? The cartoon man. The cartoon mountain lion. Who was that? Heavens to Murgatroyd! Snagglepuss. <sighs> this game is as good as MTV's programming from the past 20 years. It's terrible. It's really bad. No contest. Fight's over. So, I don't actually like playing this game, or wish to continue playing it, but someone gave me a cheat code to unlock the characters. So I go to Credits... It's, 
it's O triangle left left left. I don't know if it worked. There's no confirmation and it, it exits the menu. So let's go. It's it's um O cross. Next stop, bloody celebrities and their O and triangle at the same time. No. Oh. And now being measured. So let's see. Oh, um, drawings, wow. The fighters. Amazing. Alien. Nick Diamond and Johnny Gomez. <laughs> the announcers and an alien. So they got the rights to how many actual celebrities? Like one, two, three, four, five. Six and Miss Cleo is a debatable celebrity. Mental. Okay, we'll do one more. I mentioned Star Wars Masters of Terras Kasai, so may as well. I've streamed this in like shitty Star Wars games part 400, so. I don't remember when I streamed it, years ago. It's not as bad as the game I just played. Far from it. It's playable, but it's still pretty bad. This was, um... So this was something that... Someone had said in charge of said the PS2 version of Celebrity Deathmatch had more characters and really stuck with the claymation and vulgar nature. Okay. So chat, this was our Disney Star Wars. Before the prequels. Do you remember when they did the Han Solo dance? And it was, I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. And we were really upset about that. Well, when I was growing up, this was that because Han Solo could fight. And it's like unrealistic. Han Solo versus Chewbacca. Boy, did we not realize that things were just going to get so much worse. I'll make the volume a little louder. Get claimed by John Williams now. But, whatever. Let me have some joy in my life. I want to listen to the Star Wars soundtrack. It, again, it's not the worst game. Uh, it's just pretty unfortunate. Does anyone know how to shoot? How do I shoot? Email me at this web zone if you know how to shoot. Vinny L2? Oh my god, Chewie, why can you do power punch? No, I- Whoa, that was a really intense voice crack right there. I don't know why this keeps happening. I'm glad my pimples went away, though, from when I was, like, 18. So thank god for that. But, god, I'm still getting some nasty voice cracks every now and then. Um... What was I going to say? That was such a good voice crack, I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> I don't know how to shoot. That was like a Michael Stipe voice crack. R2 to pull gun towards triangle to shoot. Wow, it's so clunky that it actually doesn't... Like, you have to hold the button. I was pressing R2 forever, and it takes a full, like, second to pull the gun out. R2!
Still can't shoot. It still's not shooting. Just pistol whip Chewbacca. Also, you have to imagine, like, what kind of argument did Han Solo and Chewie have for this to happen? Okay, no, this game's pretty bad. What'd you do with her? Chewbacca. Round one, fight! Abort game. What a <laughs> oh boy, if only. Luke Skywalker versus Arden Lin. I like. There's no reason for that word Round to be one. used. You could just go exit game. Why would Luke ever fight with anything other than his lightsaber, the single most powerful weapon in all of Star War? Yes, even more powerful than a Death Star and Palpatine lasers. All it takes is two. Two lightsabers is enough to stop lightning that can destroy an entire fleet. You know this. No, I believe Arden Lin was cut in half from the top. Sorry. I don't I don't think Arden Lin should be alive after that. Yeah, we'll just block a lightsaber with our fists. That's fine. Who's Arden Lin? I have no idea. I think it's maybe an original character. The music is the best part. I want to see what levels there are. Boba Fett versus Princess Leia. Boba Fett versus Princess Leia. Do we ever get to select all? Is it just one level? Yeah, good, good. Boba Fett pulls out his gun. I'm gonna smack you with it. Please pick Hor as your second character. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. But I, I really would love to to select. I'm gonna. We're gonna do Thok versus Hor. Thok versus Princess Leia. Never mind. Um. Maybe we'll see a different level. Oh shit! It's Hoth. Finally, a different level, some music. Favorite movie soundtrack of all time, chat. Empire Strikes Back. I bet you were thinking it would be Vangelis' Blade Runner soundtrack, or maybe Indiana Jones or something. Nope. Empire. Akira soundtrack? I like when the Akira soundtrack went BUM! BUM BUM! It was good. Whore versus fuck. Whore. Could they not name him something a little bit different? I mean, say what you will. 
<clears throat> the game's pretty bad. No, it's pretty bad. Never mind. There's not anything else to say about it, really. Um, there was another game called Star Wars Demolition that was pretty bad, too. It was Twisted Metal, but Star Wars, it was not good. The music is the best part, and the stages are taken from the movie. Okay, well, that's, um, that's unfortunate. It just, it's sluggish, it controls like shit. It's a shame. We're gonna take a break, everybody. And I'll be back with some post-void. And some AI memes. And... AI Dungeon after that. So, stick around if you want. There will be more video games. I have a song that you want to hear, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. More alien sauce music. Well, no. No, I won't do that today, because we're already... a little short on time. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll get a nice short song. I got a nice short song instead of a seven-minute song that I was about to play. <laughs> we'll stick to Alien Sauce tomorrow. <laughs>